Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Joel Chiwi, uh, and I'll be teaching you um, reticulation, specifically electrical reticulation. And um, I'll be going through what electrical reticulation is and how we usually um, do it. So all the knowledge that I'm teaching here is based on my previous internship. Uh, so I would only be referring to um, the city of Windhoek, um, particularly because it is the only reticulation project I have worked on. So reticulation is just uh, basically the servicing of homes uh, or part of the distribution uh, network whereby, um, as you can see here, these homes are, are reticulated um, using um, overhead cables. Um, we call these ABC cables because they just come directly for, uh, from the power lines to the households and this is a more of a traditional way of doing it um, nowadays we use underground cables and the cables depend on the specification for the town councils so uh, the requirements for reticulation you are required to know the sun's book the sun's basically is just a south african national standards we adopt this from south africa because um, the standards are pretty much the same and um, we don't have our own standards. So the Namibian Statistics Institution have got no standards set as of now. So we adopt the SANS. This is just to basically um, tell you about the wiring of, um, let's say, a house where you can place the wiring, the distances and the requirements that they require. So it's not really a big thing. Another thing is the town council specification. Different towns have got different specifications. For example, like Windhoek uh, and um, Sokomun will have different specifications, um, whereby you would find that in Windhoek, if you have to set up a miniature sub, you can just set up in an open area. But in the Rongo region, or specifically Sokomun, due to the dew and the Beguela current and the effect of rust, you would require to um, set up a separate building to just prevent um, the cables from being damaged from the rust and other harmful weather conditions. Another requirement is your engineering knowledge. Uh, this is just the basic background about voltage drops and um, all the other calculations. And just to have um, different um, knowledge based on, let's say, if we know, if you are talking about what, then you know what I'm talking about. If you're talking about apps, then you know what I'm talking about. So we are going to start with the miniature subs and I'm just going to explain before I actually go to the um, reticulation project that I did. And um, this is the miniature sub. So you may have seen um, outside your homes so, or um, in the surrounding area, you may have seen that um, navy greenish uh, box. Um, this is what we call a miniature sub. It's basically just a mini transformer that transforms um, voltages from high level uh, high, I mean high voltage, um, uh, high voltage um, ratings to um, a much more lower rating. So um, in Namibia, we adopt a 11 kV to a 0 0.4 kV uh, miniature sub, and um, these miniature subs you usually set them up um, at um, corners of homes and. Um, you, they should always be 80% loaded. By 80% loaded, I mean they should be used 80% um, of the time. The other 20% we allow for growth and, and, and other things, but it's not an issue if you are not loaded 80%. But when it comes to the signing off of the town council as to how you did your reticulation project, it will be required. So the miniature sub um, here, as you can see it, um, uh, it's quite expensive. It's over 500,000. And I'm just noting this down to you because um when i show you the project in the second video you would notice um why i have got less uh, miniature subs and more kiosks and um as time goes on you will understand i also was confused about how um miniature subs and kiosk work but later on i found out that it was very easy so this is a kiosk um usually you power houses from the kiosks or schools you may have seen this outside your homes and these ones are mostly common as you can see the bottom picture there that's a kiosk usually it's locked up and the only people who have access to it is the town council in case um they want to cut off power to your house or 
for whatever reason um, um, that's uh, the kiosk so the kiosk has got various uh, isolators in fact uh, elect in electricity there should always be an isolation point so you have an isolation point in the miniature sub and you have an isolation point in the kiosk so the kiosk um, will have its own isolation point um, based on how many houses it, it can take and some kiosk may be 12 way some kiosk may be 18 way it just depends on the council's specification or your specification um, as to how many houses you can put on um, that kiosk but uh, maximum houses you can put on one kiosk is either 12 or you can go for the other option which is 18. Different town councils and different um, um, clients require uh, specific cables but for us we are mainly going to look at cables because we will be talking about voltage drops and with that um, we need to use um, different um, cabling sizing because you know that voltage is equal to rho um, uh, L over the area um, in such a way by when you increase the area it decreases the, resist, uh, the resistance within that cable so you can get um, more electrons flowing through that cable so we'll be looking at the available cables the 35 uh, millimeter the 50 millimeter the 75 millimeter the 100 millimeter and the 120 millimeter um, all four core um, copper cables but um, you will also look at other cables depending on the town console which is also going to be specified um, the picture below just shows um, the cable um, book um, this is uh, another cable uh, I call it I call them Bibles basically um, so it's a to me it's a cable Bible it tells you of all the voltage drops that can be experienced in a, uh, in a particular cable depending on its uh, the size of the cable and the type of the cable that you're using and where you're gonna use it are you gonna use it underground or you're gonna use it overhead or are you gonna use it in the tucking system so in the reticulation we also uh, the main thing what we want to do is we want to calculate the different voltage drops so that um, the electricity gets to its our distributors at the safe um as a safe rating and we usually do this um in the herman uh, in excel and we use a, a particular excel sheet called uh, a herman beta calculation this is a standard calculation i've seen it used um in in all areas and it's nothing um uh, too freaky um, I will uh, record another video as to how we do we use the Herman beta calculation um, table and it just tells us basically um, the cable or supply to that particular substation the size of it and how much length of it you need and uh, the ADH and the ADMD is the after after diversity maximum demand so I'll record another video uh, explaining uh, ADMD uh, and what it is so we also have street lighting in the reticulation. This is very important because you wouldn't want to supply um, electricity to a particular uh, uh, suburb and you don't have street lighting because um, and then there will be no lighting in the streets to guide the people at night. So it's just another requirement when it comes to reticulation unless um, specified otherwise because now in Winduk uh, we don't really do uh, street lighting due to the fact that they are all on solar and um, it gives um, uh, less management of the street lighting so you can do the placement but uh, just to let the engineers know or the contractors know but we don't really power them anymore from kiosks um, due to the fact that they are all solar mounted now we also would like to do in reticulation what's known as phase balancing this is just the balancing basically from different uh, miniature subs and kiosks just to balance um the phases the red yellow and blue phase um just so that you don't have um, so many houses connected to the red phase uh, or <coughs> so many houses connected to the blue phase or the yellow phase so you wouldn't want an instance whereby you have got 10 houses connected to the red phase five houses connected to the blue phase in two houses connected to the yellow phase so you want to uh, have uh, uh, a phase balance in all the phases so you would rather have like five 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 on each phase which is like red blue yellow respectively so the presentation wise we look at the autocad drawing as to how you have done your reticulation um uh, does it make sense are your kiosk numbered properly and then you're also going to do 
Okay, your schematics. Um, the image you see there, it's a miniature sub three that I designed. It's a 500 kVA miniature sub that I have designed and uh, different kiosks that are connected to it and um, how many houses it's supplying and how many uh, and the phase balancing uh, basically how many houses are connected to the red phase how many houses are connected to the uh, the blue phase and the yellow phase respectively and that is it for the first introduction for the video of um, reticulation i will take you through uh, another video as to how to um, how you would see um, how i did the reticulation for uh, suburb in Wibik and I'll just explain um, bluntly as to how I did it. Thank you.